Welcome to the Tony's Tackle Sea Match channel. So, what are you going to show us today, Gerald? Uh, I'm going to make a two unclip rig to start with. Okay. So what, what components do you need for this rig then, Gerald? For this rig, we only need the beads, the Gemini clips, and the swivels, and the clip crimps. That's all we need. We don't need anything like um, springs or anything. Oh, you don't need springs for this one? Don't need okay. springs for this one, no. Okay, cool. Basically, we get the line, and we work out about how long we want our snood length, which I would say is about that length. Then we do a blood knot. Blood knot, okay. Yeah. Pull that up. You should do three twists to make sure that it's solid. Yeah. Use the clip on the lead to pull your stuff up. So you like holding them in pliers, it's easier to pull yeah, yeah, it up so tight. Yeah, good, good tug on yeah. it. Do you, do you put some saliva on that or not? No, I don't normally, no. I mean, generally a lot of people do though, don't they? They generally do, yeah, but I don't really know. You pull it up slowly, I don't pull it up. Cut that at an angle, which it makes it easier to get your beads. The crimps. And the crimps, the beads on and the crimps. Right, basically, for that's uh, this rig, we slide a crimp on first. And then. So one of those micro beads, yeah? Micro beads, yeah. Which obviously is a bit difficult to see. And then the round end of the diamond swivel. Oh, I didn't even know there were different ends. Yeah, they've got diamond round end and a diamond end. Oh, okay. And another bead. Another bead. Okay. Another bead on there. And then another two crimps now. So we. Crimp, and then this is the crimp for the, the second hook. So you're, you're building up the actual yeah, body. The body, of the yeah, the, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Right. Now another bead. I quite like the idea that you, you put the beads on whilst they're still in the frame. It's something I yeah, do. You do something yeah, I'm, something yeah you do, yeah. Yeah, you do, yeah. And the same thing again with the... Sorry. Right, you probably notice in the background there's lots of talking on us because we, we're in Tony's shop doing this, so apologies for that, but it is a busy shop. That, one more crimp. Right. When you've done that, then we need a slightly larger top swivel. Put on two, three. Same thing. Use the lead to pull it up tight. That's that. Right, as it's a unclip rig, we can actually clip this first. So make this go to about halfway. There. And then in the pliers, we just lightly crimp that, not too hard. And there. And then we go to the top for the top one. That is the rig now. 
the body of the ring made up. What's the overall length of that of that body? I don't actually measure it. I just go on depending on what if I think you want a longer trace or something. Yeah. Then I you know longer flowing one. I yeah. make them slightly longer. Right. I don't actually measure them. I do them. Right. You know on what I think for the condition I'm fishing really. I'm actually using black hand these here because it's easier for you to see me doing it. We'd no, I would normally use clear unless it was really rough and murky. Right, now we tie where hook lengths on. Same thing, three, uh, three turns, blood knot. Blood knot again. This is base, a uh, really a basic rig, which will catch anything really. Blood knot again, tying the hook on. I do actually crimp my hooks because it's been proven apparently that on the long lines they catch 25% more fish with the hooks are slightly crimped. Slightly offset, you mean? Yeah, slightly yeah. offset, yeah. Quite. Not too much, but yeah. slightly yeah. offset. <laughs> if the fish swallows it, then it doesn't come out. Basically, that's a basic to a down the line rig. Yeah. Okay, so that, that's not clipped down in any shape or form. No, you just, that's you, just you, a basic yeah. right. rig, really. Okay, and that's, if you was night fishing, you would use that. Yeah. yeah. And you'd put your lead at the, at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, I'll the, show you with the lead. Okay, so the lead would go. So it's it's almost one up, one down, isn't it? Well, no, no, it's not. No, no it's, no, it's both down the line. Yeah, two, no, two yeah, up. or up yeah, the line, yeah. whatever you call it. So it's yeah. a two up rig, really. Not clip. If we was clipping, we'd be clipping to the leg. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So two up rig. So it's an easy one to tie. It's a good one to start with. It's so a, it's a very good rig for night fishing. Obviously, if you was match fishing, you would probably use three hooks. Mm. And at night, you would you would also wouldn't use clips really at night because there's not really a lot of advantage by oh. casting at night. Yeah. Not always. No. Okay. okay and, and I reiterate, we're using black um, snood line there. Ordinarily, it would probably be clear and easier you're using. So. It would. Yes, it would because it's easier for, to see on the video. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic.